Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane here. And I have a canvas here. It's 10 by 10. I think this is one I got at Michael's. And it smells really funny. I don't know if it's just chemicals they put on it or what, but. Okay, and I'm going to use, this is acrylic paint. This is the basics kind. This is Artist Loft, I think is at Michael's. I'm also using this. I get them at Michael's. A lot of times they have them on sale 14 for a dollar. One time they had them on for sale for 20 for a dollar. I haven't bought them the last few times they're on sale because like I have a huge bag of these. I think I probably have them for a hundred of them because the times that I did buy, especially when they were 20 for a dollar, I bought a lot of them. I just filled up the front of my cart. I didn't even count them. Made them count them. Oh, this one's never been opened. So I have to take this little thing off. And I'm just on my normal craft table. I do have a easel, but I'm just going to do this here so you guys can see it better. And this is freezer paper. I just put over my table just so I don't get any paint on it. And I'm just going to Put some paint. I might put more. I don't know. Can't take less off, I don't think. I can scrape up. I'm not gonna do that. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna start with the lighter one in the middle. Just because it's lighter. And I'm going to cover the whole canvas. So I'm just going back and forth. I'm going to go all the way to this end. I'm going to paint the edge. I have the edge painted. The corner's really good. This is a wraparound canvas. And we're just going to go back and forth. Let's get the sides. Now I'm just going to try to smooth it out so there's no edges, no ridges. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm just lightly going over it. Now I'm going to let this dry, and you all can do this, you know. It's not very hard. Okay, you saw me paint this one. Not this one, but they're pretty similar. I really like them both. But the project I wanted to do, I didn't realize the picture was more of a landscape picture, not a square picture. So I decided this is an eight and a half by 11 picture and I'm putting my hand in paint. And this is what I'm putting on it. Almost looks too big, but I don't think it is. This is, let me show you your way. This is my niece, Samantha, and it totally doesn't look like her when this is white. So I'm kind of glad I'm doing it because I was, I was picturing it white on top of this. And then somebody mentioned on Facebook because I posted a picture of my painting and said, guess what I'm doing with this? And someone suggested that I put the vinyl down and then paint over it and then do that. So that's what we're going to do today. 
I went to Stencil Graham to do this picture. I actually did this picture a long time ago. And then I think I took a screenshot of it and uploaded it into, downloaded the picture, uploaded it into Design Space, and cleaned it up with the magic wand. It's pretty simple. And this is not vinyl. As you can see, it's contact paper. Comes in a huge roll. It's pretty cheap. So because we're just using it as a stencil, I thought I would use contact paper. If it messes up, I can always redo it. And I'm using a transfer tape. And sometimes this transfer tape, this is Cricut transfer tape, does not, you, you can't leave this down. It like sticks to it too much. So someone says, you can stick the transfer tape to your t-shirt. Then stick it down so it's not so sticky. Kind of like you can do with a mat that's too sticky. And you gotta get the corner and then peel that off. It doesn't feel too sticky. Making a mess out of this. Okay. I'm going to put this on my t-shirt. Sticky side on the shirt. Just so it's not too sticky. And I'm pressing it down. Okay, so now I think I got it so it's not so sticky. And I'm going to start placing this on one end and make sure it's big enough and when I put the contact paper on the Cricut mat I made sure that there were no bubbles in it I ran my fingers across it like this and I also cut this on the Explore on the paper plus setting, not on the vinyl setting, because this is a little bit, it's because it's contact paper, it's a little thinner than vinyl. So I used paper plus. Okay, now this is the little scraper tool. You don't have to use this tool. I'm getting paint all over me. The edge of the painting wasn't dry. I think the top is. Make sure your painting's dry. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to start lifting this up in the corner and making sure that everything is coming up with it. Okay, now let's hope that this will stick on the canvas. I'm going to start this at the very... Actually, I'm going to do it at the top because it's wider. Oh, it's wider right here in the middle. I'm going to make sure I get this on here straight. I need it. I want this at the top. That looks like it should be about where I want it. Now, because this is on a canvas, I don't feel like I can push as hard because it's soft underneath. So I'm going to just press this on, and then I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to press it from the back. paper wants to come up with the ed with the transfer tape so I'm just gonna hold it down press it down and when you pull the transfer tape off it's 
comes off easier if you put it all the way down and kind of stretch it that way. Make sure there's no bubbles. can't have any bubbles around the edges or the paint might go through. It's not what we want. So I'm going to paint over this in white. using this. got this at Michael's years ago. It was on clearance. And then just using some of this. And I probably should mix these up in a separate dish to mix them together, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to set some white paint there. Iridescent medium in it. I'm gonna rip this contact paper off of it, so I'm just gonna mix it up a little right there. And I'm just gonna dab this on. So I don't get it underneath the contact paper. I don't want to get too much on my sponge. I want to make sure I have enough coating
good at all. Okay, I'm going to rip this off now. Start to see it. The paint is not dry yet. Sometimes if you wait till the paint is dry, then it will, the paint will pull up with the contact paper. Okay, now the hard part is to find where the contact paper is. So this is the whole reason you should use different color contact paper than paint. Okay, now we gotta find her other eye. There we go. I'm missing anything else. Does this look like Samantha? Something's missing. Around her nose. Okay, I think this looks pretty much like the picture. So I'm gonna let this dry, and what do you guys think? Do you like it? I'll try to show you the picture that I went off of when I put this into Stencilgram, and I will also put a link to Stencilgram in the description below. All right guys. Thanks for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! This video is co-sponsored by Crafts by Two, Pam Bond, Kelly Boobles, Carla Bronson, Beth Case, Sherry Gibb, and Terry Carnane. Thanks, everyone. Love you. Bye!